Yeah, so today we are doing something I haven't done for a while and that's reviewing a new 3D printer. That's the one you're looking at right now. This is the Falca Mini Dot and I've actually reviewed a lot of small 3D printers but this one is uh, planning to be the ultimate beginner 3D printer because it comes almost fully assembled and in this review we'll definitely check that out and see all of its features, let's begin. So how are you doing my friends? I'm Autodil and welcome to the channel. This is the Falcon Mini Dot and if you are for the first time on this channel, you might wanna click on the red subscribe button down below because all that I do here on Autodil is review gadgets and I've been doing that for a while. So if you're interested in this little guy, you'll probably be interested in my future videos and I'm gonna review this watch very soon. This is from Xiaomi. So uh, you wanna stick with me on this channel, believe me, if you wanna see some really cool gadgets. Basically all that I do here is tell you about my experiences. I might not have the best English, but I do have some of the best gadgets. So let's talk about this printer first. A 3D printer is just like an ordinary printer that prints on a 2D surface. In recent years, the world has been conquered by 3D printers which can print 3D models. That means that layer after layer are printed basically to create a print that has height, while the print material has also been changed from your normal print ink to PLA, which is basically made of cone and glue. The Falcon Mini Dot is basically that small 3D printer, probably the smallest that I have seen, which is also beginner friendly. Now, this is not the first small 3D printer that I actually used. I actually have another one, but that one was really bad in terms of print quality. The 3D models usually, usually look a bit choppy. And I've done a lot of tests now with the Mini Dot, and I'm very excited to say that it is as good as a huge printer, because I also have huge 3D printers. So why is this a beginner 3D printer? 3D printing might sound too complex when you first get to the hobby, and the Mini Dot deals exactly with that. It has a color touch screen that will let you know everything about the printing process, and it doesn't need you to assemble the printer, which is a common thing with all the mail order 3D printers that I actually used. I spent more than a month building the Anet A8, which is a different 3D printer. I assembled from practically zero, so I do know how hard it is to actually build these 3D printers. So for a change, having one that is fully assembled is truly a good thing. The Falcon Mini though, already has a bunch of 3D models on the storage card for you to print. They are already sliced. That means that all you have to do is click a button and then you will have them printed out. And that is even without installing any software on your computer. These models include a small, very cute cactus, as you can see right now, and a crazy stress test that you'll be able to print for around eight hours just to see the quality of the printer, which we'll, we'll talk about in a moment. So basically, what do we get with the Falco Mini Dot? It comes with everything you need to start printing, including a 250 grams of white PLA printing material, which by itself is worth around 15 US dollars. This truly is a small printer, but it's not portable or mobile in any way. You still need to connect it to a power source using this AC cable. And to get the models printed, you can use the included serial cable or just use the SD card like the rest of the world. There's also another cable you'll have to connect from the printing nozzle to the back part of the printer. We will get that cable obviously with a box. One thing I must add over here is that this printer doesn't have auto leveling. And leveling is a thing you'll have with almost all 3D printers where you actually calibrate the bed plate, which is this part of the printer, so that the printing process can be, um, let's say, equal on all sides of the print material or print object in the end. So before printing for the first time, you will need to calibrate the printer's bed plate, which means that you'll have to turn some screws on the bottom here and making sure that the printing nozzle barely touches the printing surface. I actually used A4 paper to calibrate this printing bed but it seems like the manual says that there is a calibration paper which actually didn't exist in the box. So if you do find one, let me know because I didn't get it. So the big thing here is that this is a small 3D printer. It's 210 by 210 by 220. So you'll get around 22 centimeters in terms of width, height and length. But the printing size is around 75 millimeter or even 70 millimeters. So if you're planning on printing models that are seven centimeters in terms of height, width, length, that printer, this printer will have great accuracy in doing that. So models like this, can even be larger. But if you really wanna print out really big 
um, prints, let's say a vase or something like that, that is not the printer you want to get. I do have recommendations for you also, I'm going to put them in the description of this video below if you want to print out bigger models. But please make note that in these kinds of big printers you still have to assemble because they are basically sending it package ready um, to shipping. So you do have to spend around 20 minutes, maybe even more to build everything. And if you mess up things like I've seen some people do, you can really <laughs> destroy the printer. So make sure you do everything by the manual if you do get these models. With this guy, you really don't have to do anything. There's one cable over here, you just plug it in the back and that's it. So I've been using this printing now for a while and I wanna say I really enjoy it. It also has smart features like resume print printing on power loss which is a good thing and you've seen that on the last of the generation of 3D printers. So this one is kind of updated. You also have the option to change print color by changing PLA while mid printing using the color touch screen that basically has on the mini dot all the option you'll want when printing. And on the side of the printer, you can actually close these windows with a plastic um, cover, which doesn't really reduce the sound, but it's, I guess, more, safer? Uh, who knows, in the end I feel like the sound here is lower, it's around half of what I get from a big 3D printer, so if sound or noise is important for you, this one is very quiet, probably the quietest printer that I've seen. So who's this printer for anyway? People with a budget, first of all. This printer is really cheap. It's cheap as in you can buy it as a gift for someone. And in the end, I feel like if I would have got it as a gift, I would be really happy. So that's like number one audience for this. But all in all, if you wanna go into 3D printer, printing, this is probably one of the easiest way to do that because you still get all the features you would want from a 3D printer, including a way to actually start printing in 10 minutes with the models already in the SD card that you get in the box but you can also expand on your experiences by using the installation apps that you get with it like Cura for example which will enable you to download models from a website it's like Thingiverse which have millions of models and then you can start printing things that didn't come on the SD card You can actually create models and then build them up So you'll be uh, able to print up to seven centimeters But because the quality here is kind of very high for my experiences I feel like that even if you move on and do upgrade this 3d printer into something better in the end, you will keep it and actually use it as a second printer for all of the smaller stuff because any every model has smaller parts that you wanna basically print so you can split the jobs if you're gonna upgrade your adventures. So that's the Falcon Mini Door. And I gotta say, to summarize things, it's uh, it's amazing, it's, it's small. That's the, the biggest limitation over here, but it has a very good price point and I really enjoy using it and I think I like the quality of the materials. I did see some deformations um, that are very, very small in comparison to the size of this printer and the older models that I've seen that are this small, but in the end, it gets the job done and I'm gonna print a lot of models with this going forward. If you enjoyed this 3D printer review, by the way, check the description of this video below so you can get more information about it because I'm gonna put links to where you can get this small guy. I really like it and I'm gonna use it a lot from, from now on. Basically, you wanna click on one of these videos right now if you wanna continue your adventures on the gadget world with me. And you can also subscribe by clicking on this button and there's another video recommendation over here. I hope you enjoyed this video review. I'm Otto Dillon and I'm gonna see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.